Hey friends, this is Sabi. Today, I am going to speak to you about the cry generation. When I say cry generation, what is the generation all about? When I say cry generation, I am thinking about the chosen generation. The word of God says that you are chosen generation, the royal priesthood, the holy nation. Why do I say that you are chosen generation? Because Christ is the chosen one and you are in Christ Jesus. And when you are in Christ Jesus, it makes you as a chosen generation. Some people call it as a 42nd generation, the various names given to it. But I like to call it as Christ generation. So you are the Christ generation. Who is the Christ generation God is speaking about? Uh, uh, or the word of God is speaking about the Christ generation. Christ generation are those people who are going to be manifestations of the sons of God. Who are going to walk in the fullness of the agape love of God. So you, you, you are going to be that generation. And you are already in the generation and you are going to attend to the fullness of generation. So, uh, so, so why, how do I make it more clear to you? So what are the people who are Christ generation, who are going, they going to be? So how are they going to operate? How are they going to function? Let me see you very clearly. You know, the word of God is Jesus was so clear with this entire picture of his life. He said one thing very clearly. You have to, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. So similarly, the, the, the Christ generation can say this very clearly. If you have seen me, it means you have seen Jesus Christ. Wow, this is, this is the power, this is the reality of this Christ generation. You know, you know, as Jesus Christ uh, used to say uh, so clearly that if you have heard me, it means you have heard the Father or you heard the one who sent me. Similarly, you can say also to people, if you have heard me, that means you have heard Jesus Christ. Why I am so confident, why I am so sure about this thing? Because word of God says very clearly uh, uh, about the Holy Spirit. That means it says about the same Holy Spirit, that uh, the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead is within us. It never says the similar spirit. It says the same Holy Spirit. The so I say the same spirit that these guys on the desk is in us, is working in us. So we can be so confidently in this thing, saying that, saying that we can be manifestation of the sons of God is so sure. It's not it's not about you have not become sons, you have become sons, and you know your sons. But it's about speaking of the manifestation, speaking about the, the generation, which, which will go on and proclaim clearly, very clearly, that it says that uh, if you have heard me, that means you have heard Christ. You know how how you can be so confident. As you know, even Paul used to say, imitate me. Uh, as, as I imitated Christ. He never, never said, said the line very clearly that oh, God imitated Christ. No. He said, imitate me as I imitated Christ. You know, how he had the audacity? Because he understood of the fullness. He understood about the sonship. He understood who Christ is for him. So he understood he was the chosen of the generation. So you, you need to know. So the, you, are, you are the chosen generation. You are the Christ generation, the 42nd generation. When you know it very clearly, you are going to operate in the fullness of his love, the fullness of the majesty of the sons of God. When you operate in the fullness of the sons of God, definitely, the Kai generation has come to pass and is going to manifest on this earth. Thank you.